Last year, um, on, on this date, uh, on uh, April 15th, one of my operators, Officer Turner, called me to say that uh, there had been significant events that would indicate some sort of terrorist activity at the marathon. Well, April 15th was just a regular day at work. We were actually out uh, on the truck. We were getting food for dinner when uh, we caught wind that there was an explosion at the, fire, uh, at the uh, finish line at the Boston Marathon. And uh, shortly after that, we were dispatched. I then called then Chief uh, Dan Linsky of the Boston Police Department and offered uh, whatever services he, he needed. He immediately requested uh, detectives and bomb dogs. So we pulled over uh, right about the 26 mile marker and we got out and uh, just started looking for you know, people that were injured, people that we could help. You know, I thought it was over. I thought that was it. No more, no more uh, standing by and just wait and see what happens. Hopefully they catch these two guys. So we thought everything was over, uh, but it wasn't. All right, we have a developing situation in Cambridge, Massachusetts. There has been a shooting at MIT, as we've been telling you about. We, we were dispatched to MIT. We found an MIT officer who had been shot, and uh, we treated him and transported him to the hospital. In the exchange of the gunfire, we believe that one of the suspects was struck and ultimately taken into custody. A second suspect was able to flee from that car and there's an active search going on at this point in time. All businesses in these towns remain closed until further notice. Let's go from house to house, making sure everything's okay in the house. Everything's fine. You guys are good? Yep. yep. Okay. Um, As we were searching our last building, after a, a particularly long and tiring day, somewhere around 6 o'clock that evening, we heard the call go out that uh, the shots had been fired, they had a suspect in a boat, um, any tactical teams in, in nearby were requested to respond. So we deployed, got into the, the perimeter of the house, and as luck would have it, uh, we were the first two teams to get to 67 Franklin Street, and there in the driveway was the now infamous boat. You know, as more assets came on scene, the FBI got involved with the hostage uh, negotiator. Uh, they were able to establish some contact with him. So this, this, this went on for a while, apparently with no results, so uh, flashbang uh, diversionary devices were deployed into the boat. And from our vantage point, there was a slight decline down the driveway. We couldn't see any of this going on until he stood up. Once he stood up and we saw that the hair, I knew that this was our guy. And we approached the boat, pulled him to the ground. And when he landed on the ground, he land, happened to land kind of in front of me. I was able to kneel down, and my biggest fear was that he had a suicide vest on or something like that. We were able to open up his shirt. And uh, thank God there was no explosives. I look up and, and I'm thinking to myself, I didn't see any the heat signature. I don't know what was on that boat. Um, if there's another suspect on that boat, he's going to have all of us with our back to him, and um, it, it wouldn't end well. So I, I put the ladder back up on the boat, jumped up on the boat, and had a quick cursory search throughout the boat, and determined there was nobody else. And at that point, we uh, did, a, did a did a head count, rounded up our troops, and headed back up the street to where our vehicles were and uh, proceeded back to, back to headquarters. People in Watertown were lining the streets. It was, uh, it was a good day to be a cop. Boston Strong started up quickly afterwards. I think it brought everybody together. I mean, if their intention was to, to hurt us and to make us weaker, it didn't. It made everybody stronger, I think. It was a horrific scene, and um, for many of the people who were involved, they have, they have healed um, both the seen and unseen uh, wounds, and for many of them, they haven't. Yeah, shortly after this, I guess ca caught up in the marathon fervor, my wife and I were talking, wouldn't it be neat to, to, to run a marathon? This was actually close to just about a year ago. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's good. Um, I, I think it's good. It's a, good, uh, a good, good part of the healing process as well. We're, um, we're not going to be intimidated off the street. And if this is one way to show that solidarity, then I'll, then I'll run the 26 miles. I'll suffer my way, my way through it.